Rage over a skull that had people across the country talking. New at 430, one group says it should have never been put up for sale. Over the weekend, a shopper who turned out to be an anthropologist found this real human skull at the Paradise Vintage Market in North Fort Myers. The price tag? 4000 bucks. The anthropologist believes it belongs to a Native American woman. Now the American Indian movement says it's outraged. Wink News reporter Jolena Esperto is here. Jolena, what does the group want to happen now? The group wants the Paradise Vintage Market manager arrested. They say she broke the law and Florida is one of eight states where selling human remains is illegal. The manager of Paradise Vintage Market in North Fort Myers, Beth Meyer, put a human skull up for sale in a display case for $4,000. The manager found it in a storage unit full of fossils and she didn't think much of putting it up for sale. A shopper who is an anthropologist saw it this past weekend and called Lee County Sheriff's Office to let them know. The anthropologist who recognized the skull told deputies that she believes the skull was that of a Native American. Whether it is for the chairman of the Florida American Indian movement. This is unacceptable. It is human remains. She tried to profit off of it. Um, whether it be Native American or not, she should be arrested. Um, there, there's, there are laws against it. And, there, you know, whether it is or isn't. Um, but it is a common thing um, here in Florida where where people are just desecrating the, um, these mounds and, and pillaging it um, for the remains. When I told Meyer about this group asking for her arrest, she didn't comment, but she did tell me she spoke with the detective in charge of the case, and the skull is on its way to Gainesville for University of Florida archaeologists to examine it. Back to you.